G'day gamers. Uh, look, as some of you may know, Series 10 on Battle Stadium has started. Okay? And I haven't had much of a chance to stream it because it sort of went back and I've been at work the whole time. But don't worry, I've been working on some stuff off stream and I'm bringing it to you here on YouTube. All right, very special. Um, with Series 10, we've had one big win that we've been asking for forever. And let's call it one step back. Two steps forward, one step back, right? They banned Dynamax or they, dis they disabled it. They didn't ban it. <laughs> um, but we've gone back to having one legend allowed per team. Okay, um, so I really have no idea what the meta game's gonna be like. There's gonna be Zacian everywhere. There's gonna be Kyogre everywhere. There's gonna be Calyrex Shadow everywhere. But I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take advantage of the no Dynamax gimmick and I'm gonna use a strategy that really only works when Dynamax is gone. And that being evasion spam, okay? <laughs> because Dynamax has guaranteed, uh, guaranteed accuracy moves. Does that make any sense? They always hit, they can't miss, unless you're like, you know, in the middle of going for bounce or fly or something. Um, but they ignore accuracy checks otherwise. So I was like, well, it's time. It's time to bring minimize baton pass <laughs> and just pass to something like Zygarde or, or Tyranitar or whatever. Um, really, it's just a pink urchin drift blim Zygarde team. And then I just put together some Pokemon from my game because I'm lazy and I don't I don't breed Pokemon anymore. So what I had, I had, well, I had the Zygarde team from series eight that did allow D Dynamax. Uh, what was on that team? There was a Tapu Fini, there was an Abomasnow, and I think there was a Blacephalon. Um, and then uh, th that was a great team, awesome team. Loved using that. That series ended, series nine started. I sort of struggled to find something I liked for series nine. Uh, then we ended up building a Stunfisk team with like Articuno, Gala, Sash, Reversal, Blaziken, and Baton Pass. And we really liked that team. It was so silly, but it just worked somehow. And I was like, hmm, let's put together some of these ideas. Let's get Zygarde from series eight and Baton Pass from series nine. And what I did was I sort of replaced Stunfisk with Pink Urchin. Blaziken with Driftblim, uh, Articuno Gala with Zygarde. We have the same Tyranitar from that uh, team. However, I replaced Ice Punch with Fire Punch because we needed an attack for Zacian. Um, trying to think back to that Articuno team. I don't really remember, but the Scizor was from the old Zygarde team as a Zacian check. Um, and then I just put a Rillaboom on there because I felt weak to Kyogre. And we did use that. We used this six that you're seeing right now with Rillaboom in the last slot. And we got to Master Ball uh, with a record of eight wins, three losses. And then we won two more games in Master Ball to go 10-3 on the stream. And that was epic. I was really happy with the team. And then I ended the stream. And I'm like, mm, Rillaboom was good, but I was using like an acrobatic set with Grassy Seed. Because like I said, it was an old, it was a, it was a Rillaboom I just had, right? And while I was battling with it, I realized, oh, we can't max airstream with Rillaboom. So um, I was like, I want a bulky grass type. I'll, I'll keep using Rillaboom. But then I was like, mm, we kind of get destroyed by Urshifu on this team, but I want a bulky grass. <laughs> so <laughs> I was going to use like Swords Dance Bulu, but I'm like, ah, we don't really have enough special bulk on the team. We're passing defense boosts from Driftblim. I kind of need some special bulk on a grass type that doesn't get effed over by Urshifu. <laughs> so then we came at Calm Mind Tapu Bulu. Because this thing gets past plus six evasion, plus two def- Well, it gets past plus one defense, but it gets plus two defense by the time it's on the field by Electric Seed and then Grassy Seed. And then it Calm Minds, and the amount of power you get on stored power is insane. So if you get plus six evasion, that's six. Plus two defense, plus two defense, that's plus eight. You go for one calm mind, you're at plus 10, which makes sword power a 200 base power plus 20, 220 base power move after one calm mind on the baton pass, right? Insane power. And of course there's Giga Drain for a stab move and some, uh, some health. I thought about running a different move of a substitute on that, but you kind of need substitute to take advantage of the evasion. Because then you're really giving yourself 
more chances to dodge. Um, there are other options. Focus Blast is an option for Steel types. Leech Seed is an option, even though we're just going to kill things anyway. Um, I think Bulu gets Synthesis. I haven't really looked at its move pool, to be fair. Maybe it doesn't get Synthesis. You can tell me in the YouTube comments, <laughs> since we're on YouTube for this video, you can tell me what I what I should run on Bulu. But I think Giga Drain Sword Power Substitute Calm Mind is pretty epic. And I think we're just going to go ahead and play some, some matches, right? The code was there. You can, you, can, you can rewind the video and get the code if you want to rent it. All right. I clearly don't do YouTube very often. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm not going to share my information with, with those battling me. They have to come to the YouTube video so I get views. We dropped from 610 to 2369. Still pretty high, okay? But 610 was looking really nice. Yeah. We played on what, day one or day two of this meta? So there weren't that many people in Master Ball yet. Um, I'm just going to play. If I end up getting body bagged, I'm going to edit those videos out. So if there's, a, if there's just a cut, you know, that's why. The battles were not worth showing. Okay. All right. First match. Um, press this button. Is everything working? This is a live recording, guys. A live recording, just like streaming. No editing unless I cut out losses. This guy has a beware. We don't really know how serious he is. Um, he also has a Mimikyu. Mimikyu is really bad because of Curse. It can live any move on your sweeper. Curse that thing. And then it's kind of screwed you over for the rest of the match. He also has a Regieleki, which is a bad lead because it just kills Drift by him. Um, oh man, this is really bad. I mean, if he leads Regieleki... He's forced to just like lose to Zygarde from turn one. So I'm just going to do that. Force, force it out with Zygarde and then go back to Pink Urchin later in the match. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I didn't explain earlier at the rental code screen. Zygarde has crunch because um, I don't want to get walled by Shedinja and it hits Calyrex Shadow and Dragapult much harder. That's why it has crunch. He led this thing. I don't know what to expect, but I'm just going to Thunder Wave. I've run into a few with Substitute on Pokemon Showdown. If he, if he goes for Sub, I'm just going Hard Drift Blim. So we T-Wave this thing. We have Endure plus Custat Berry. So we should be able to get a couple of moves off. Oh, I hope this doesn't just kill. It gets nowhere near killing. Okay. Land the Thunder Wave. Oh, that's nice. All right. We are not going to be faster than this. And we are at risk of dying here. So I'm going to go for an Endure so that we can Memento safely, guys. Now. Oh. Huh? Oh, no. <laughs> All right. I'm seeing a problem. And it's Swords Dance Decidueye. I'm just going to immediately Memento here. Because I don't want him to... Oh, he just does that? Okay. Hmm. <laughs> this is a weird situation. Physical ghost types aren't really common. But they do scare me. Dragapult being the scariest. And Leaf Plate has a good critical hit chance. We have a plus one defense boost right now. And this Drift Blim is running basically max speed with max defense. No HP investment. Because, like, you don't need HP investment on Drift Blim. It's got a huge HP stat. He has to land two moves in a row, right? This, the, this, oh, like, oh. <laughs> what ghost move does it get? Poltergeist? I don't know enough about Decidueye, guys. I'll be honest. Oh, he Swords Dances again. So he sort of gives us a chance. Is 
Goes for the sneak. Okay, so I'll die to any move that he goes for here. If he lands it, but I'm gonna be at plus four evasion. Now, you mathematic wizards in the YouTube comments may be able to correct me, but I think the chance of him landing here is 40%. I'm gonna go for a sub. Yeah, we dodged the sneak. Do you want to see me go to plus six or should I not get greedy? Should I... <laughs> I'm getting greedy, all right. This is a YouTube video. I'm trying to get views. We want plus six evasion. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I will... Um... I will agree with the haters, but this is not a really meta team that we're facing right now. Like, he has Decidueye and Beware. The other four are very good. I don't know what Decidueye and Beware are trying to do. I've always wished Beware was kind of viable. It was definitely, definitely my favorite Gen 7 Pokemon. All right, we just coil forever and win the game. There's, there's no coming back from this. Unless he has Mimikyu, all right? Unless he has Curse Mimikyu. But the, the neat thing about Zygarde is that because of Power Construct, turning us into complete form and getting a, a HP boost and leftovers, I think we take a few, a few turns of Curse. I haven't done the maths, all right? But I'm gonna say we, we should live like six turns before Curse kills us. Cause normally it takes 25%. I think this HP stat is rounded up. So normally it would be five. So five plus the complete form, six, maybe it's seven. Maybe it's seven. I don't know. That's another thing you guys can figure out for me. Um, when we streamed with this team, on day one or day two or whatever it was. Time zones are hard, guys. Um, it was a little bit boring. Okay, there's a lot of this. There's a lot of me going for moves. <laughs> like minimize and coil. And it's often like 10 turns of nothing really happening. So it really comes down to me. Can I be entertaining enough to make this video last? Maybe I'll fast forward it. I'll do like a post, a post recording edit. And just fast forward the turns. Maybe I just won't get greedy. I'll just start attacking while I'm at plus four attack. The problem is that Zygarde's not actually very strong. <laughs> We're running Coil instead of Dragon Dance because obviously the bulk is really nice. Um, and the accuracy is very nice. What if, guys, what if we run into another evasion spammer? These are the questions you have to, you have to consider and team build around, all right? I've built around it. These guys haven't built around it, all right? There we go. So that's game one of the books. That's game one of the books. That's good. That's good. I don't have to edit that one out. We can leave that on YouTube. <laughs> it was a master ball match, all right? You can say his team was not viable, but it was a master ball match, right? We won in the highest rank, hell yeah. Oh, that's for my Bulu. Because I just transferred the Bulu up from uh, Gen 7. It's the event Bulu. All right, I, I kind of want to use Carmine Bulu. I'll force it, I'll force it if I have to. This guy is 516th, that is very high. And look at his team, holy cow. Oh, I just realized my team preview thing is is not is not going epic. Oh, okay, I see, I see. That'll be fixed in the next YouTube video, okay guys? Um It's meant to do some epic animation, but it's broken. I'll fix it. If it's Hayes um Toxapex, we just lose and forfeit. Um that's a bad matchup for the team. And you can see we don't have a way around it. Our way around it is super effective thousand waves, but like Toxapex is Toxapex. It doesn't, it doesn't die to it. Um, apart from that, I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, if he leads Lando and U turns into Finny and gets rid of my terrain, that's worst case scenario, right? Um, but I will just, 
I might have to play this one smart, okay? There is some skill in playing Baton Pass. Yeah. If he leads Lando, that's the biggest culprit of U-turn on his team. Um, Dragapult can run it, Urshifu can run it. But I'm kind of thinking that Urshifu is just a Focus Sash, you know, normal Urshifu set. Lando, I can see being a um, a U-turn set on this team though. He's got plenty of offense, right? He's he's got Zacian. He's got Zacian, Dragapult, Urshifu. Do you really need another powerful physical attacker? It's the Zacian. Okay. So this is fine. I'm just gonna slap him up with T-Wave. I'm tempted to um, just raw rem uh, memento here. If you guys for substitute, I'll scream. Oh, this is Lando, I'll scream. <laughs> okay, this is fine, this is fine. We live Earthquake, guys. That's the craziest part. Hit them with the memento. I don't, I don't give a damn right now. He's having a think. Um, it's always concerning when they take this long. Because for one, I have to fill that time with me talking. And on the other hand, it makes me wonder what they're, what like, do they have a contingency plan for Pink Urchin? I understand Pink Urchin is threatening, but it shouldn't take you this long to figure out how to click Earthquake, right? Ooh, he was predicting the Drift Blim switch. Good call by him. Okay, this is where the ultimate technology comes into play. Good Rock Slide though, I, I like that. Because it, it either flinches me or it hits Drift Blim. If he goes for another rock slide, I'm gonna assume Choice Scarf? That would be a weird set on this sort of team. You've got enough speed. You've got Zacian and Dragapult, man. And I really only see rock slide on Scarf Landos. Okay. Okay, I need to get my terrain turns working. He's definitely Scarf. I'm just gonna memento here if he's gonna be, if he's gonna do this. If he's gonna rock slide me again, I'm getting memento off. Yeah. And we actually dodge it, because I'm a well-trained pink urchin. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So we're faster than Scarf Lando with uh Drift Bloom. Believe it or not. I've EV'd this Drift Bloom to be faster than Choice Scarf Base 100s. Do you know why? Because of Choice Scarf Zapdos. In the very first match I used this team, we lost a Scarf Zapdos. <laughs> and I immediately changed it. All right, minimize time, let's win the game. He withdrew, so I get the free minimize. Into Zacian. All right. I'm doing some calculations right now, my gamers. Here, let's... Hey, you like that? You like that? You won't kill me with anything. I don't think the calc takes into effect Electric Seed. So I'm gonna put the plus one defense on manually. Yeah, we live every move from this. I am not afraid. So I'm gonna minimize again. If he hits, I'll survive. Unless he crits. Oh, shit.
Okay, that did zero damage. <laughs> How have I messed this up? I should... I just thought I was faster. I should be fast. Did I not retrain this? Oh, I have not retrained this. Okay, guys. Next YouTube video, this will be retrained. I'm going to raw baton pass here because... I don't want him to land this, have my sub fail, and then he lands the next move. Oh, this is so bad. I think... Mm, my play is to either minimize or baton pass, because like I said, substitute is a risk. I'm just going to baton pass out. I'm not going to get greedy. But this driftling has been EV'd wrong, and he dodges. Nice. Okay, so, I EV'd, I re EV'd it on Showdown, guys, but not, <laughs> not in my game. Okay, damn it, past Jake. All right, so if you were planning to borrow the rental code, expect that. The Drift Limb is slow. I know what it's EV'd for. It's EV'd exactly to be, oh, I should have subbed. It's meant to be um, faster than the Dragapult. By one point exactly. Oh, nice. Okay, I should sub now. But otherwise, Drift Limb should be faster. But hey, it just increases the tension, all right? The battle's a little bit more exciting just because of that. He lands Behemoth Blade. All right, he can land some, just not all. I'll concede, he can land some, but not all. Good thing he's not Swords Dance, okay? Uh, leftovers will put us up above half, so I won't turn into complete form here. Yeah. It's okay, guys, it's okay. Crisis averted, slightly. <laughs> and that's that. And that's that. All right, let's play one more game. Let's play one more game. Let's see if Driftloom's EVs will come back to bite me or not. I guess if you want the new rental code where Driftloom gets proper EVs, you'll have to just come and check out my stream on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Jake Can't Say. Of course. Jake Can't Say on all platforms. Twitter as well. Not Instagram, not TikTok. I don't have those. Twelve three is a nice rank. Okay, <laughs> so we're fighting Kyoga, and <laughs> this is where Drift Limbs EVs should have come into play. All right. If I EV Drift Limb correctly, I'd be confident that we outspeed Kyoga with Drift Limb. However. <laughs> if he's choice scarf, it's going to be faster. So that relies on me thunder waving it, which is also perfectly ideal. I can do that. I can thunder wave. Should I pass the Bulu just so we get one game with Bulu? I'm just having to think, guys. I'm having to think. If it all goes wrong, Bulu's not going to pull it out on its own because he has um, like Mimikyu and Cinderace. So I need to get the Baton Pass off and getting the Baton Pass off will help Zygarde win anyway. So maybe I just go Zygarde. But you know what? Just because it's it's YouTube and I haven't used Bulu yet, I'm going to use Bulu. If it does work, it'll be a longer match. This could also be Tricker and Mimikyu, honestly. It could be like um, Cussat Berry Magnazone lead to just trade one for one, one for one. And then Sash Cinderace can do the same thing. Ditto can do the same thing. And then um, Mimikyu comes out and sets Trick Room for Specs Kyogre and wins the game. But he leads Dragapult. Okay, we know that we're faster than Dragapult with um, Drift Bloom. But this could be clear body. So I don't want a memento just yet. Oh, this Thunder Wave. It's our best move. He goes for substitute. Okay, this is really bad now. Really bad. Sub Dragapult and it's leftovers. So what set do we think it is, guys? 
It could be a number of things. I'm hoping it's not Dragon Dance, because then it's just a 3-0 loss. Uh, I'm going Pinko. Urchin. Do we break the sub with Rising Voltage? Okay, so Rising Voltage does break the sub. But by the time that's up, we're going to be... The terrain's going to be gone. So I'll just go for the Rising Voltage and see what he wants to go for. If it's DD, we lose. We lose. Okay, so... We got two good examples of how the team can work well, and we got one example of how the team can really, really not work well. Substitute lead leads, guys. I want to get attacked into Custat Berry range. But he should just go for sub until my terrain's gone. And then we're not... Oh, he goes for Dragon Darts? You threw. That's a nice throw. Oh, that, that did nothing! Okay, guys. He must be really bulky. I have to endure and hope that he goes for an attack here and not a sub. Oh, yes! All right. Oh. We're still in this match. We're still in this match. Okay, we Thunder Wave now. I'm gonna have to reset our terrain. Oh no, I'm not even gonna get to. Huh. This stinks. If we get a full power this turn, I can reset our electric terrain. Otherwise, we're gonna have no terrain blue. Oh sorry, no terrain drift bloom. We don't hey dragon dance. So that means that at plus three with the Paralyze, um, he's faster than Drift Bloom. Oh, it's only plus two. So we, Drift Bloom is faster right now. Terrain's gone. I'm going to go into blue. It is going to give up our... <sighs> yeah, we, we got to sacrifice our... Elect uh, sorry, Grassy Seed here, I think. I go, if I go Drift Limb on an attack, he probably just subs here, honestly. I'm going to anticipate a sub. I'm going to anticipate a sub. You bozo. Why would you not sub? Well, guys, that's how you lose a game. It just happens like that sometimes. It just happens like that. Sometimes they just lead the Pokemon that beats you and they win. That's just how it is sometimes. Yeah, looking back, I don't think there's any way we could have stopped that from happening. Just the fact that it's sub Dragon Dance Pult. Not a common set, guys, so I'm not too concerned by that. They just, they identified that, they realized what I was doing, they led it, and they won with it. Maybe, uh, maybe in the future against lead Dragapults, I just spam Rising Voltage to scout for sub because I can always, I can always endure cast that berry, a Thunder Wave onto them. Okay, full para, let's go. Not sure if good or bad, honestly. I got a Rising Voltage. Okay. I don't think they're clear body. Okay. 
so we can still pull this off. I'm gonna go for a minimize and we either have to dodge it or get a full para. It's funny because I think Driftlin would have died if it had the EVs that I was planning to use. Because I'm pretty sure this uh, Driftlin's max HP, a lot of defense, and then enough speed for Dragapult. I'm just making sure. Yeah. Neutral speed. Minimize. This is all I can do right now. This is all I can do. Please, 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 please. Because if we get this one, I'm going for another Minimize. <laughs> okay! <laughs> okay! <laughs> We're in this match! You know I'm going for another one. <laughs> Can Phantom Force miss? He's gone for that like it's a guaranteed hit move. Why did he do that? Also, Phantom Force in a uh, metagame that you can't Dynamax in? Accuracy 100%. Bruh. He's at plus two. If I pass to Bulu, he's at plus two. And I won't- So if I get hit here, I lose the game. Where if I baton pass a Drift Blim here, I don't think I lose the game immediately. But if I go for Minimize, his chance of landing here is like sheer cold. Do we want to lose to a sheer cold? I think I'm just going to baton pass plus two evasion. No, I'm going for it. I'm go it's YouTube, man. It's YouTube. I got to go big. I got to go big. You're we're, we're dodging this. Or full power. The chance of landing this- Oh! 30% with the full power chance? It's even less than 30. Ooh! I told you guys. I told you. See, this guy threw by not using his substitutes and dragon dances properly. He had so many chances to just put this game away. Okay. Now the problem becomes the timer. I... He has a Pokemon advantage on me right now. Oh, it's really... It's like... We both have two Pokemon each, but he has a lot more HP than me on his team. Go for Dragon Darts. I have to start Calking. Bulu. Mm -hmm. nice. Plus two defense. If I go for one Calm Mind, how much damage are we doing to this guy? Sword power probably kills, but he looks pretty bulky, right? I'm just gonna calm mine because I feel like this is infiltrated Dragapult. I don't think you run clear body on Dragon Dance, right? The only move you can hit us with is Phantom Force, by the way. You know what, I should sub because I have, I do have, um, Grassy Terrain Recovery to get some of that back. And if he's Infiltrator, he won't kill our sub, he'll just do damage to us. Which means I'll have the sub for the next Pokemon. Ooh, boys. Just forfeit, bruh. Forfeit. Calm mind Tapu Bulu, guys. See, if this was Zygarde, he'd be getting popped by... Um... Popped by Dragon Darts. Alright, our stored power is now 280 base power. From the plus two defense, plus two special attack, plus two special defense, and plus six evasion. This is it, guys. This is it. This is it. Um, 
kind of just want to attack and see what he has in the back. But also I want to get greedy, but also I don't want to lose on time. I don't think we need that many boosts. If it's Magnus over in the back, I'm just going to boost more. So yeah, I'm just going to store power and kill this and see what he has. Because if it's, um, if it's Ditto, I want to keep the sub up. He's dead. See ya. I like the bell sound when Bulu attacks. Listen on, on the next sword power, listen for that bell. The Pokemon fan. <laughs> this is not an answer. <laughs> Just going for Giga Drains, man. No, actually, screw that. Calm mind. <laughs> Is this fair? Probably not. All right, Giga Drain will now guaranteed kill if it's Scarf Kyogre. Been misses. See, this is why we need Dynamax. You guys all complain that Dynamax is broken. I just proved that we need Dynamax. Okay, so he's bulky Kyogre. Understandable. The fact that he went this makes me think it's like Ditto in the back. Because if you had Zone or Cinderace or Mimiku, you'd go one of them, not Kyogre. So yeah, it's probably Ditto, and Ditto cannot transform against things behind a substitute. <laughs> oh my god, alright, yeah. See you later. I mean, I, I'd be pissed off too, alright? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Well, I mean, that's gonna be the video. That's going to be the video. So if you want to see more of this action, because I'm going to be using this team until it starts getting destroyed by counter teams. Uh, one of those teams, we ran into Swords Dance, Icicle Spear, Calyrex on stream. That destroyed us. Um, and Pokemon with phasing moves like Whirlwind, Hippowdon. Um, that's it. What else runs phasing moves anymore? Swampert doesn't get Roar anymore. What else can phase? It's just Hippo. So, another big reason why I had Rillaboom and now Tapu Bulu. We need something that can just scare off those guys in the lead. But that was hilarious, man. That was hilarious. Three really funny games. Um, I enjoyed it. I'm going to quit just so we can see the rank. Prove to you guys that we're playing ranked, all right? I'm not playing this on casuals. This is Master Ball rank. And I'm winning with Calm Mind Tapu Bulu. <laughs> Hurry up. not top 1000 i'm not playing another i'm not playing another i'm happy with where we are yeah so come check me out on twitch twitch.tv slash jake can't say you'll see more of this epic karma and tapu bulu stuff until we start getting body bagged all right i want to see how far we can push it um against the ranked master ball players and then maybe i'll build something more serious but until then guys i'll uh, see you see you over there all right <laughs> bye